Glimpses of the past Our great Indian heroes are known for their valor and significant contribution during the first war of independence also known as the revolt of 1857 By 1765 the British East India Company controlled most of India The infighting among Indian princes helped the East India Company expand the territories under its control However, Tipu Sultan of Mysore fought the British bravely till his death in battle. Some Indians looked up to the British merchants as their savior. However, there were others who were unhappy about the Indian princes being dethroned by the white men. Meanwhile, religious leaders promoted ideas that led to superstition and discrimination among people. The British sought to earn profit by levying heavy taxes on farmers. When they couldn't pay, their crops were taken away. The British decided to waive off the import duty on goods manufactured in England. As a result, cheap British-made goods flooded the Indian markets and Indian artisans lost their livelihood. Raja Ram Mohan Roy, a learned scholar from Bengal, realized that Indian society needed to be reformed. So, he went to England to understand what made them powerful. Meanwhile, the British continued to ill-treat Indians. In 1818, the British passed Regulation 3, whereby an Indian could be jailed without trial in a court. By 1829, British goods worth 7 crore rupees were imported into India. Even the Governor-General, Bentink was alarmed at the deteriorating situation of Indian weavers and farmers. In 1835, Lord Macaulay introduced English language education in India. English education produced a new generation of learned Indians who became vocal in expressing the problems of Indians before the British Parliament. By 1856, the British had conquered the whole of India but they were not concerned about the plight of Indians. In some parts of the country, they began forcibly converting Indians to Christianity. The Santhals of Bengal, who had lost their lands under the new land rules, were the first to rebel against the British in 1855. The Indian sepoys in the East India Company army were also unhappy with the discrimination against them. In addition, they were upset at being forced to cross the sea to fight for the British in other lands because it violated their religious beliefs. When the Indian sepoys learned that the grease on the bullets they were supposed to bite off before use was made of pig and cow fat, they were hurt and angry. In 1857, there was a violent outbreak by the sepoys of Meerut led by a sepoy named Mangal Pandey. The rebellion began spreading to different parts of India as well as to different strata of Indian society. Many landlords supported the patriots. Many former rulers like Begum Hazrat Mehil of Lucknow, leaders like Malvi Ahmadullah of Faisabad and Azimullah Khan also joined the rebellion. The patriots battled against the British all over North India.